And then I've also started learning German. I learned German to connect with my father. You know, lost contact with him for many years because of apartheid. And so now we, we're starting to learn each other, which is it's taking time, but we're doing it slowly. I think the language will help me, you know, because uh, I don't think he's, he's proud of me. He loves me, but I haven't earned his pride. I think partly because of my job uh, as a comedian, I don't rank that high in the world of German anythings. <laughs> comes across in the small conversations, you know? Like one day we're having lunch, my dad looks at me and he goes, so Trevi, what do, what do you do now, eh? You, you got a job, do you work? I said, yeah, dad, I'm a, I'm a comedian, stand-up comedian. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, so the, the clown, eh? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, no, whatever. German's holding me back, you know? I dream of impressing him with his language. I'll get to his house one day, he'll welcome me at the gate, like, ah, clown boy! <laughs> I'll be like, guten Tag, Vater. <laughs> it's epic, it's got that feeling. So I started learning. Uh, I learn in different ways, you know, to watch German movies, uh, play German speeches on my iPod when I sleep. Your brain remembers things you don't even know. It's beautiful. The only hiccup was, uh, turned out I downloaded some of Hitler's speeches. <laughs> it's not like Google warned me, don't judge me. Google wasn't like, oh, not those ones. No, it just let me download everything. And, um, and so I learned some of his nuances, uh, not his philosophies. It's just, I've been told that when I speak German, sometimes I sound distinctly Hitlerish. <laughs> Which I found out in Germany, which is not the best place to find out that you've got Hitler vibes. Would have rather found out at home. And uh, it was actually, it's funny now, not so much then. I, I was in Cologne, Germany, beautiful area. I'll, I'll never forget, I was walking around and I went into like a little sandwich shop, you know, like one of those subways where you make your own sandwich. And I walked in, the woman was really nice to me. She's like, guten Tag, kann ich Ihnen helfen? And I looked at her and I thought, confidence, Trevor, confidence. I said, guten Tag. Ich will ein klein Boten haben, bitte schön. Das schwarze Boten mit der Käse und das Schinken, bitte schön. Und gib für mich auch die Salami und ein Pepsi Cola trinken, bitte. And, and she shut herself. I'll never forget the look in her face. She went pale. She looked me straight in the eye and she said, the Schwarze Hitler, <laughs> which means the Black Hitler. <laughs> I was so happy. Yeah, because she said Hitler, but at least she said I was black. You guys look fantastic. Thanks for having me.